All right. So, we've got Major Arcana on top of Major Arcana. So, underlying energy is the world, right? So, definitely a success, a completion of a cycle, moving forward. Um, it's a successful completion because... Um, you've gone through something, you've did the hard work in a situation or for a situation um, it, in your life that inspired growth. This is your like your next step. Your next step in life is pending, if that makes sense. Like you're starting something completely new. Um, well, you have the, well, the, the new beginning here is coming. Wow. And it was definitely fought, fought for. I think you guys really, really put in, you know, the work, really put in the time. Some of you guys definitely had to compromise and it may have developed kind of like a win-lose sort of situation, which I could kind of see because it kind of looks like somebody's happy with the change, but then at the same time, they're not. Because the Five of Swords can indicate this person may have had to compromise a certain belief, a certain perspective. And that compromising definitely got them to this, you know, to a place where they are starting something brand new, right? Or they're about to, all right? They've completed the cycle. But everything else that I'm seeing here, healing family issues, you know, so I think there's there's literal family issues that are coming up right now for some of you guys. You guys are dealing with parents and, and cousins and uncles right now that are, you know, that may need time to work things through, work through things rather. But there also, this also kind of gives me uh, the impression that, um, that this is more about intimacy and intimate relationships with people, period, right? Healing your, he, healing, um, or forgiving your parents doesn't necessarily mean actually forgiving parents here. It could just talk about forgiving, you know, either your, you know, your past life self or your, 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 yourself from a situation prior to this one, right? Whatever drudged up an old issue, whatever brought something to light, whatever you, you know, whatever's missing here, forgiving yourself and forgiving the other person or forgiving, especially even, even your parents, in regards to moving forward and seeing things through, right? To get progress finally. Now, two cards we're gonna start out with is the ones at the very top. They signify the mental space. This is how both of you come in thinking of the relationship. This is what you guys think of the relationship. Now, feel free to switch from this side to the other because typically Libra, I do read this side here as you guys by default. And feel free to, you know, like I said, to swap over to this side here if it doesn't resonate. But starting with you, Libra, or the other person, depending on how you guys decide which side resonates with you, you guys have the Nine of Pentacles here. So you guys are definitely kind of comfortable, right? I think you guys are, you know, this relationship does provide a lot of stability, a lot of security, um, a lot of comfort. But the thing that I'm recognizing the most here is that you guys feel very alone. Because feel by yourselves, you guys feel, and you also feel possibly even bored here. And it's it may be because I think, of course, you're aware of your independence and in what you're able to do. But you almost it almost looks like you kind of, you know, you just feel like you're you know you're by yourself. You have a relationship that gives you everything that you've ever wanted, but you don't have the emotional connection. That's what I'm getting here with this. Now, the other person here is stressing the hell out, right? They've got so much stress. It's crazy. They're stressing out, not able to sleep, not able to really think about doing anything other than focusing on the stress. They're focusing on what's wrong. Their, their, their mind is not even focusing on what's wrong. Their mind has completely gone to the doubt zone. And you know the doubt zone is one of those nets, those spider webs that you can get caught up in and you find yourself really hard to detangle yourself out of and convince yourself that you're thinking of the problem and then actuality you're just in a different mindset freaking out about a situation so this person here with the nine of swords is stressed out and this is what could explain why this person uh, why you libra may be feeling very alone in the relationship because the person is not necessarily plugged in they're actually like freaking out now the Looking at this, they have justice coming up here, right? The justice card, I feel like this person is definitely taking a lot of accountability for their actions, a lot of accountability for the other person's actions. And I feel like they're stressing out probably because they do need to work out some sort of balance between you and them. Um, at the same time, it could be that this person is stressed out about marriage, or, you know, about getting divorced. You know, this person could be getting divorced from somebody, and it could be hard, right? It could be very hard and really difficult to to do. 
Um, at the same time, this could be you and this person, se you know, separating here. Um, because you do have the King of Swords, but I don't think that's really the case. I feel like this is really... I feel like there's just some there's some, some excuse me there's some sort of dynamic that it needs to be balanced out for this person, and it's not right now. I think there's some things that are just not work not in a sense, you know, stable. So they're kind of freaking out because there's no stability here, and you're going to going through the same sort of similar situation because how you're presenting yourself is the five of cups. So you're looking at a lot looking at all the things that you don't have. You're looking at all the situations that have gone wrong. You're looking at everything that's missing. In the situation and instead of kind of you know shifting your focus to other things right the shifting your focus back to the relationship it's really a constant reminder like there's a constant you know constant glaring at this loss right and i feel like the justice probably this person wants forgiveness for whatever they've done right forever whatever this situation was maybe they've you know they don't feel like excuse me, maybe you don't feel like you, you, they support you or you are, are not emotionally plugged in. You feel like you're missing that and this person is trying to make up for it but they're so stressed out that they're not really able to really give all of their 100% because their 100% is working on trying to make themselves unstressed, you know, de-stressed. So it makes sense why this person, you know, well, you're focusing on what is not there. This person is trying to gain a balance in their life so they can no longer feel this unstable. Because, of course, getting the control back in your love life and in the, in the balance going and the flow and the passion and the success and the happiness going, that is going to require a lot of effort between the both of you. But right now, what brought you two together was the hermit. And it's honestly, it's weird. It's like you guys came together during a time of in, of personal expl exploration. Like you guys actually didn't really see each other until now. Like you guys came in, you know, both independent or both, you know, healing yourselves. And it's, it's, it's a crazy thing. Um, but, you know, I feel like you guys both just didn't really quite see each other until now because you guys were still going through some things on your own personal time, what you guys were overcoming in your own, in your own way. Okay. So, um, the hermit can also indicate a time of separation, um, you know, taking some time out to look within the self to reflect it's healing inner, the inner child, you know healing parental issues or family for family issues here like you're taking this this the re, what brought you two together was your introspection was recognizing who you were what you're capable of and what you wanted right and having you know you had confidence in yourself and now it's about creating a balance that does flow because right now everything's out of balance everything else is out of whack now, the reason why this person is looking at the Five of Cups, or the reason why they have the Five of Cups as the pre pre uh, their presentation, or how people can see them, their, their physical plane, right? Because this is how you see that yourself, and how this is how other people see you. Same here with the other person. This card here, you know, these two cards indicate the spiritual plane. These cards, they indicate the spiritual plane. They give us a bit of background as to why you're presenting yourself the way you are and thinking the way you do. And it all starts with the King of Swords. Right? Like, the King of Swords is someone that's very... That can be pretty darn brutal. Uh, but he doesn't have to be. That's his, that's a skill set. He's very good at conveying his message without being aggressive. But the thing is, he's very detached, though, too. He doesn't look at his emotions every day. He doesn't look, let his emotions dictate his decision making. The second he, the second he starts to even think about getting angry, he won't do anything. He won't make a decision. He has to be in a cool, calm, collected state where his his mind can totally, you know, run through possibilities and and um options. All right, he's a logical individual, the King of Swords. <clears throat> Now, at the same time, Libra, this could be that you have, either you are you're in need or you're wanting to master this energy, you master your own energy of being, you know, diplomatic and communicate, but also be firm and, you know, and firm and back up yourself when you need something. 
Because I feel like for some of you guys, you may feel like you need something. And it's hard to kind of get, convey that message when everything, you know, that when all the attention is focused on the loss or what's not there in the relationship right now. And I think both parties are really doing that. Right? Because the king, because the justice card talks about there being a balance needed. Right? Somebody needs to be taking accountability. Someone needs to forgive a situation or to apologize for a situation, but make amends to something so there can be a balance again. So things can be restored. And this is, I feel like it's the same difference um, because this person is looking at what's lost when they have the two cups there. There is something they can still work with, even though this is gone. And I feel like what's needed here is because I think the reason why this has all come up because this is really influencing this person to communicate better, communicate, you know, in a way that gets their message clearly through, to see something from a different perspective, to open their minds up, you know, to be the master negotiator, I feel. Because where this person is right now, they're not feeling the love. And it's definitely showing here with the King of Swords. Now, with this other person here, they have the Justice card and the Nine of Pen Nine of Swords. And the reason why they have these two here is because of the Eight of Cups. The reason why this person is so stressed out and they need a balance is because they're done. They're emotionally finished with the situation. They're emotionally finished and they have to go find what they truly want. They have to go find what makes them happy. They're, you know, I think they're done with, satis with set settling for less. They're done with dealing with things that don't actually make them happy. They're ready to go out and find what makes them happy. They're ready to to explore themselves to figure out what makes you know what will make them tick, right? Because I think they've I think this is a constant state for them for, for being stressed out. They're constantly stressed out. They're constantly trying to balance the situation out. You know what I mean? And it kind of looks like this person is emotionally done with the situation. They're done with not really getting peace or getting content being content they're looking what to they're looking at what makes them happy such an interesting card to get here as a way to explain as to why this person is a mo is stressed out injustice and wanting you know balance in the situation and it could be that this person has gone through something that that they have to kind of eh, they don't have to do anything but it's more like this person may have experienced someone that hasn't that was emotionally done with the situation and they've gone you know they've left somebody has actually left with the hermit like that and in order for things to push forward there's going to need a balance here but the thing is i feel like you know they don't you know I don't think they, they want to be in a situation where they're burnt out and they can't give anything. I think they're upset because there's nothing that they can give at this moment. And they're stressing out because and they're causing the situation to become worse because instead of figuring out a solution, they're just looking at what they can't give. What they no longer can't what they no longer can put in. And I don't think this person is completely, de you know, is, is like depleted from emotion and they can't give back to this relationship. They don't even want to move it forward. I think they're just so, you know, they're so doubtful of their own capabilities that they kind of tie themselves in a knot to where they can't give. They can't take either. They're in a, they're in a box of their own and they can't break free. And as much as you would like to help them, it looks like you're stuck too. Looking at what you can't, what you don't have with them, or what you would love with them, right? Or what you have had, and they've, and it's gone. But I think that's why the communication is coming up here. The King of Swords. It's good. You may have to cl cut through the, the, you know, the crazy, so you can clear, you know, be clear and to be open and to provide clarity for the other person. I think the forgiveness part is to let go of what was lost, what is no longer there, and inspire to create a better thing, you know, so create something better with what you have, with, with this relationship, with this connection that you have. Because there is potential for there to be goodness, to be great. This is a five. This is not the end-all, be-all. This is a, just, just the beginning. 
This is the, the change that's initiated, you know, and really starts to kick off here. But the emotional shift is what's needed, you know, allowing this to pass through you and of go through and forgive. You know, forgive the situation for whatever happened here, right? So you can have an, you know, so you can work on a solution. Because everybody's here is focusing on what's wrong. Like, it, there's a lot of shit that's wrong. But in order for there to be anything better, there has to be solutions. There has to be ways to uh, solve the problem. And that does come from you having to communicate. Alright, that's the best thing I can definitely say in regards to this re re this reading. Like, this is, there's going to be, there's going to need to be a conversation. And a conversation of compassion and not aggress aggression. Because like I said, the King of Swords can be rough. But he knows when to and he knows when not to. Oof, excuse me. And the Justice card is the card for Libra here. So Libra, this could be your side here. And you may be the one that's stressed out. Trying to keep the balance here. Or you're showing that you're, you know, balancing a situation as much as you can. But you're stressed out because there's nothing more you can give to a situation. And while this person is kind of ta being taken care of, they're looking at things that they don't have. Because, honestly, either they know their truth, they know what they're capable of. Or there's something here that they honestly need to clarify for themselves. I think this person's aware of their individuality. It's just like... What is needed from this individual? Like, I don't understand. Time to ground, though. Okay, weird. All right. But I'm going to clarify the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords coming up in the spiritual energy? Why? Because of the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's about completing a cycle. It's like not detaching from the situation completely. Um, I feel like it's more of like seeing what one wants, knowing, uh, being aware, and being clear on what, one, what what on what this person wants to share the the happiness with the person that they're with, or to share the happiness with the people they love. But it starts by letting go of this Ten of Cups, whatever this emotional situation was. It's going to require forgiveness here for you to be set free and to take what knowledge is that you have about yourself and carry it through. But you have time to ground, and that's one of the cards that um, the Virgo got. They had two um, that just fell right out. And you guys have time to ground. And what time to ground is saying is like this is not a... Not a stable time. This is actually very, it's, it looks very chaotic and, uh, and it looks kind of crazy. And it's, of course, do is for, for our highest good, no matter what it is. But it's about taking the time now to find a way to stabilize, find a way to, um, to ground yourself, um, during this changing sort of energy, during this, this, this adjustment, right? Because the world is talking about an ending of one cycle and the beginning of a new. It's a really weird off period of, of, um, of nothing happening, but at the same time, lots of things are happening. But you can bask in the happiness, or you can focus on what you need to do for later, which is honestly what it's looking like here. But there's a lot of looking back at the past to honestly encourage the freaking out of the future. <clears throat> So let's take a look. See at your, you know, of your your um, wisdom of the oracle card here. Okay, we all experience moments in our lives when we feel confused, unfocused, and surrounded by chaos and turmoil. These moments are often avoidable. Uh, are these moments are often unavoidable, as are the lessons these um, moments can impart. But how? Okay. But how you respond to them is a choice only you can make. Take a deep breath and a moment to pause and reconnect with Gaia and nature. Seek the silence of the void within, whilst your spirit spiral downward to anchor itself like an ancient tree root in the cleansing embrace of the earth beneath you. 
So right now, yeah, it's crazy, but the best thing right now is to forgive the situation, let, you know, be aware of what you feel, right, or how you feel, and find other ways to overcome it. Because honestly, this is, this here situation is not going to go anywhere unless, unless people find reasons or find, you know, find it in themselves to forgive and move forward. Now, I don't think anybody's at a problem. I don't think anybody did anything wrong. I think this is the dynamic of the situation is off. The dynamic of the relationship is off. And what needs to be done is just like, hey, there's nothing here right now. But you can build it. You can create it. But you have to shift your focus away from what you don't have to what needs to be done to get that, right? That focus be back to love. Focus on what, you know, what you guys feel. I can't, you know, this person on the other side here, I don't really know what else to say to this individual. Because they're just, you know, they're stressing themselves out. They're stressed out about the dynamic. They're stressed out about the balance. The only way that they can overcome this is by forgiving the situ forgiving the fact that the situation is jacked up. And find a way to just over, you know, to work through it. Because the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups rather just doesn't accept this it just goes on and finds what it needs to do it finds what it need, finds its cup right they go out and they do their own thing by finding their own cup and it's the same situation not saying this person needs to break up not saying anybody needs to separate from the relationship but more like this person this person has you know has got to find a different way to over to accomplish what they want to accomplish